Dr. Silberman. I've been asked to analyze the uh, running performance of the top three women at the 2008 New York City Marathon. If you play it in slow motion, we'll watch a few frames. Before we even look at the uh, legs or feet, the first thing you notice is that Goucher's head is looking up. Her chin is up. Her neck is extended. This is a, a position of strain. The uh, cervical spine should be in alignment with the uh, thoracic and lumbar spine. In uh, one solid uh, linear rod, the, the head should actually be uh, be uh, in, in neutral. What you see is Petrova is really looking down. Uh, Radcliffe has a uh, signature head bob, uh, which she uses as a, a metronome of sort, but she uses her head to actually pull herself or drive herself forward. The next time you're on a run, uh, without even paying attention to your legs or feet, pay attention to what your uh, head and shoulders are doing. When your head is up in the goucher position, that is actually a uh, slowing down or braking force on the runner. Go back to a few uh, freeze frame images, and on this first frame here, uh, what you see is uh, Radcliffe has a very nice extended rear leg, and in this position, you'll see here that her swing leg has a very nice bend underneath her with the foot hanging down relaxed. This is a uh, very nice uh, running pose. If you jump ahead to a, another frame here on Paula, what you see is her front leg here is, is uh, nice and bent. It never gets too far extended in front of her as well. Her foot, you see points down or straight ahead while she runs. Versus some runner's positions, which we'll show you, is their leg really reaches out forward and their foot points upward. And here you see again a very nice bent knee landing. And again with the on the forefoot and basically directly in front of her uh, general uh, center of body mass. The other thing we like about uh, Radcliffe and our runners is that we want them to get a very high heel up behind their knee close to the buttock, a nice butt kick in running. On this frame here, we'll take a look at Petrova, and what we see is that position again, rear leg extended, not quite as nice as Radcliffe, and what you see is her front leg is really scissoring out forward with her foot pointed upward. This puts a strain on the hamstring. It will cause the IT band to snap in front and behind of the lateral aspect of the knee. And the foot pointing up against uh, gravity is going to put a strain on the lower leg muscles, the, uh, primarily the uh, tibialis anterior. Uh, is going to be overworked. And you will also be causing uh, excessive stretch on the posterior gastrocnemius. second thing we see here is her rear leg here really has a little butt kick. Uh, her, her leg angle here is about 90 degrees rather than what we like to see is up here. The higher it goes, the more driving force you could thrust it forward and drop down right in front of you as Radcliffe does. Although somewhat obscured, here again, we'll look at Goucher, not as much 
rear leg extension. What you see again is her front leg really not bent under her. It's uh, scissoring out forward as well. And you'll see here the foot also, like Petrova, points upward. In this position here, actually, uh, Goucher and Radcliffe are uh, similar up here in the uh, arm swing and trunk. And what you see here is Petrova has a, has a nice hip extension. We'll say it's, you know, similar to Goucher, but the, the primary difference here is that Goucher is really straining and reaching on her front leg versus Paula Radcliffe, her leg is bent underneath her and her foot. She's actually just swinging forward with a little tension and the foot is pointing downward. And this last freeze frame again we could see the Radcliffe and Goucher and similar leg extension in the rear, leg extension in the rear. And again, we see this nice running pose, bent knee in front, foot hanging down, swinging nicely through, whereas this is really a scissoring, overreaching stride. I'll just play a few more frames in slow motion. And you can enjoy the fine running of these uh, three ladies. Despite that technique, they all are world-class athletes. However, we strive to get our athletes here at New Jersey Sports Medicine running more in the mode of Paula Radcliffe. Thank you very much.